Let's talk about hypovolemia versus hypervolemia. First, let's break down each one. Hypo means low, vol means volume, and emia means in the blood. So hypovolemia means low volume in the blood, also called fluid volume deficit. Now for hypervolemia. Hyper means high, vol means volume, and emia means in the blood. So this means too much fluid in the body, also called fluid volume excess or fluid volume overload. Now let's look at some signs and symptoms. You can remember this by the memory trick. For hypovolemia, think less volume equals lower pressure. So with less volume in the bloodstream, blood pressure will be lower. Remember, less pressure. And the heart rate will increase. Well, why does the heart rate increase? That's because when there's low pressure, the heart has to work extra hard to push enough blood throughout the body. It's trying to make up for the loss of volume. Now, a good memory trick for hypervolemia is more volume equals more pressure. So with extra extra volume in the vessels, blood pressure increases. Remember, more volume, more pressure. And the heart rate may stay normal or even increase slightly. Well, why? Because with too much fluid and higher pressure, the heart actually has to work harder to move that extra volume forward. Let's talk some nursing interventions. For hypovolemia, the main goal is to replace fluids. So think IV fluids or oral rehydration. Now for hypervolemia, the goal is to get rid of the extra fluid. So you can give diuretics, monitor intake and output, and use a low sodium diet. If you need more broken down concepts like this, check out the complete nursing school bundle on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses.